All right, guys, so just got out of work. Uh, we're about to head home, meet up with Zach. We're gonna be working on the E36 just a little bit today. Yesterday, we were gonna make a video, but things just didn't work out. It was too dark, and I do not like making videos at nighttime because my quality is just not good. And uh, I don't like putting out videos there that are like just terrible quality. You guys don't wanna watch that, come on now. So anyways, today, we're gonna show you what we did. We got the oil panel on there, the oil pickup tube, the new windage tray from all from F-Body. So it's all LS1 parts. So first, we're gonna head home. Uh, get something to eat, get something to drink, then we're going to head out, go to the P.O. Box. There should actually be a launch control kit there. One of my good friends is, sent me it. It's the, the BR kit. I believe it's like from uh, FR, FRSport.com or something. I don't know. You guys can look it up. Never used it. Never installed launch control. This car's never had launch control on it. So it should be pretty cool. Hopefully it's actually there. I'm not too sure. He sent it like a week and a half ago. So most likely it'll be there and there might be some other stuff. So let's go check that out. Then we're gonna meet up with Zach and then we can finally get working on the LS swapped E36 because me and Zach are super pumped up on that. And we're just trying to get it done as fast as possible so we can hang out with you guys, go to the track and give you ride alongs like we've always wanted to. So let's head out. All right guys, so just went to the PO box. The launch control still isn't here, so I'm gonna have to talk to the kid because he sent it and I mean, I don't want him to send it and then something like it's lost in the mail. So that's kind of weird. So now we're gonna head home and we're gonna meet up with Zach and then we're gonna show you some stuff on his car. And then also my car is literally filthy, disgusting and it needs to be washed. So we're gonna do that too. But I'm definitely super pumped to show you guys the progress that we've made on his E36 V8 swap. So let's get home. So I was driving down the road and I'm actually shopping for trucks. Shopping. I won't be getting one for a while, but I just saw the truck that I really want, so I had to stop and take a look at it. Let's go check it out. I apologize for the wind noise, but this is what I'm looking for. Third gen Cummins. Oh, it's so beautiful. I think this is third gen. Oh, I want it. I wonder how much they want for it. Oh, the Rockstar rims. I hate those. They would have to come off right away, but this is exactly what I'm looking for. So just talked to them about the truck. They want about 25,000. It's got 125,000 miles. So that's actually a really good deal. Like I would love to pick it up, but I just can't right now because we're buying another car next week and I got taxes coming up and stuff. So maybe within like the next month or two, we'll definitely be picking up a truck and I'm really looking forward to that. So just got home. Zach's already working on E36, wasn't even here. But uh, last night we got the engine back over and the new oil pan is on there, the F-Body oil pan. So LS1 oil pan, LS1 oil pickup tube, and LS1 windage tray. I feel like so many of you guys don't even know what the fuck is going on in this build because it's just been so scattered. But basically, we got CX Racing kit. So here's the motor mounts. And then let me go over to the parts room that you guys haven't seen either. We cleaned this room out and turned it into like an awesome parts room. And then we got the simulator right here. It hasn't been finished yet, I gotta buy the stuff. but. We got wheels in here, we got parts on the shelves. But anyways, here's the CX racing kit. It's got headers, uh, the pipe, radiator stuff, V-band clamps, hose clamps, and then the trans mount is right there. So yeah, like we have so much stuff, we just haven't had time and then we had to get rid of the other Miatas. So we also got, for any of you guys that didn't know, cause it's been like a while, probably 15, 20,000 subscribers later. Like. We have a T56, we have the harness. I mean, we got it all. We're ready to build this car. Now that it's back in the garage, we're all ready. It's nice out, we're ready to go. We got a clutch, a flywheel. So, I mean, there's not much more to do to the car. Like, parts-wise, we gotta pick up like a lot of accessories and little things, but hopefully within the next month, we're gonna get a lot done and get this thing close to starting up. So he just knocked off the last shield Today we should get some purple power too and clean oh, all that yeah, up. The tranny tunnel under. from the oil leak, yeah. And for any of you guys that didn't know, we also have custom modified knuckles on here. Here, turn the steering wheel. Let's show them the angle. Turn the grip royal. Oh, dude, you're pissing everywhere. Oh, I just hit my head on the lamp. That's pretty good, dude. Look at that angle. That is good. 
Look how close it is over here to the frame rail, dude. Damn. Angle mods. I need angle mods on the 240 so bad. Look at that mud out there. I need to go. We're going to go wash that thing, too. Jesus. So, real quick, before it gets dark out, we're going to head out and get some food. And then we're also going to go wash the 240 because it's absolutely disgusting. I mean, there is. I haven't washed it in like two weeks. And dirty cars just bother me, and dirty interiors bother me even more. I'm sorry if I'm weird. But there's just mud all over the side of the car from my backyard and on the interior. So, we're going to go clean it all out. Car nice cleaned up, get the rims all sh shiny ish again. They kind of need to be polished, and then we'll do some rollers, and then we'll head home and finish working on the E36 for the day. Take his coil packs off real quick because we don't need these. We're gonna be running LS1 coil packs. I'm getting new ones. Oh, valve covers look clean now. Oh yeah, good thing we took that off. Time to clean up. <laughs> Flip this over, is the seal still in there? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's just dirt down there. Time to clean that up. Cool, get her nice and pretty. Doing work to the V8. What the hell is that? What Yo, is this wire? Don't, don't pull it. Well, at least we can unplug it. Anyone in the comments knows what this is? Let Zach know, because we don't know. So for us to get all this last little bit, of build up in there. Last little bit. Well, all of the little bit. We're gonna basically scrape it and he's gonna suck with the vacuum at the same time so none of it falls down in the engine. So he's finishing up cleaning the last bit of the engine now. Uh, we have some purple power sitting right here. We didn't want to put any purple power on this part because we don't want to go in the engine. Got the valve covers a little cleaned up. The intake that you guys have not seen and we've had for over a month. Look at that difference from the truck intake. So much more prettier. Needs to be cleaned up, but yeah. Oh, it came with a throttle body. Throttle by wire. I knew it was throttle by wire, but I didn't know it came with it. Yeah, so the truck intakes are throttle by... Um, electronic I guess you could say and then the LS1 intakes are throttled by cable which is way better and easier to hook up and he's going to be able to keep his stock uh, gas pedal so we're going to go ahead and put that on here it's going to sit way lower as you guys can see so super excited about that sorry right, just put her on though came with the oh it came with gaskets in there oh it did yeah okay well we'll get you new gaskets just drop it down on there uh, don't screw it down just oh my gosh yeah that's so much lower changes the whole look of the engine like right away it's hilarious it looks so much better with that all right well we're gonna pull it off and actually clean it up because you can see all the gunk on it and everything and then we're actually gonna bolt it down let's get this fucking intake on here we didn't even clean the top i right, guess no i want you to put it on there first oh and then vacuum <laughs> Butter all on there. Oh, she don't line up. Sorry. It's installed. It's installed. That's it. Yeah. Is that really on there? That's how it goes. Yeah. It don't seem like it's sitting down at all. I know. I thought so. Yeah. All right. So line that up there. There, there you go. All right. Now let's tighten them down, and then we'll vacuum it up, dude. Look how much better it looks. It looks so much better. So we just got the intake completely on, everything's looking great, everything lined up, all the bolts are in. These are actually the bolts they sent us with the LS1 intake. Got the throttle body right here, we're not going to put that on right now, but he's got the bolts. But real quick, we actually got to take the shaft off, all you got to do is loosen this bolt, and 
Where's the top one? Oh, right there. We got to take that off because with the CX Racing kit, it will fit with this shaft, but you want to actually get an E46 shaft because it's a lot skinnier. So our buddy Thomas is going to sell it to us for 40 bucks, and we're just going to plop it on there and it'll be a lot smaller. Trying to bend it apart a little bit right now. You might need a hammer to actually tap it maybe. That should be good. It's, it's not going to take much because it's just a spline. Ain't going to do it. Nah, that little puberty thing ain't going to do nothing. This bolt is so tight. We got the nut off, but the bolt is like... Ah! Go ahead. Ah! Well, I don't think it's got enough pressure yet. I don't know. Keep going. Ah! There you go. Now put a flathead in there and bend it. It's almost off. It popped out, I think. Oh, move the, turn the steering shaft because at different points it comes up different higher lengths and shit. There it goes. Bam. All right, now we got to, you loosen this, right? Um, I don't remember. No, you asshole, you didn't loosen it at all. We got to loosen that one. Multitasking. What? Looks a little troubling. <laughs> it's spinning. Here. Oh, ow. Look, my finger's stuck. <laughs> ow. Just hit it quick. Hit the impact. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like spinning and shit. Here, I got it. You got it. Here. Get it on there. I got it. There it goes. There it goes. All right, now get the stud out. Twist it around. Oh, never mind. It's already loose. You should be able to pull that bitch right off. All right, so I got it off. Anyway, she's gonna have to replace this little rubber bushing because he's had this go up on him before and literally you lose all steering. So we're gonna actually hammer that off. All right, so that's the end of today's episode. Basically today what we covered was working on the motor. We got the LS1 intake on, old truck coil packs off, old truck intake off. Um, we didn't do much else to the motor, right? And we cleaned it up, got the new, well not new gases. Actually, we got the F-body oil pan on last night but we didn't make a video on it. So that's on there. All that we're waiting for right now is ARP motor mount bolts, ARP bell housing bolts, pressure plate bolts, and flywheel bolts so we can get all that together and then we can actually drop the engine in the car along with the T56 bolted up to it. And we have the trans mount, motor mounts, headers, and all that so we're going to test fit it and then we're just going to go buy the E46 steering shaft so it'll fit. So definitely look forward to that next week. And, uh, we should be getting really close to finishing this thing up. And then also we ordered 100 slap stickers. And if you want to check them out, they're going to be on my Instagram tonight. You can go check that out. It's uh, Street Sarks and it says a couple other things on it. And then we also ordered 100 more of the Garage Highway's little circle logos. We're going to be selling, I think, the slaps for 7 and then the logos for $5. So, and then obviously free shipping. You don't have to pay for shipping. So that'll be in next week. Can't wait to get them sent out to you guys. And whenever you get them on your cars, definitely send me pictures because I always love seeing that. But anyways, we'll let you know when they come out. If you want to check them out, get in the description of this video. And you can add me on Snapchat and Instagram. And we'll have it posted tonight. And we'll catch you next week. And hopefully this motor will be in this car and getting one step closer to being done.